What is up, Coronacation? Day 31. Corey, how are you doing today? You know, I woke up this morning. My, my neck is hurting pretty bad. I don't know what I did. I don't know if I slept wrong or, or what, but it's hurting. That's, that's real. Um, real deal. It, it's hurting pretty bad. Like, I have to turn my head like this. Like, I can't, I can't turn my neck and it hurts, but I'll be okay. I'm trying to stay up, trying to be, you know, moving around and stuff. But one, I'm in a mood, man. I'm just in the mood to clean, like, see all these dishes down here? I gotta put those up. So I'm gonna work on putting those up. I'm gonna pass it over to you just to see what you're doing so you can say hey to everybody. And then I'll, I'll let you take it back from here. I know I know we got a game coming later that you wanna walk me through, but uh, yeah, so you know what? Um, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I like the microwave. I'm gonna send it to you in the microwave. All right, Corey. Andrew, Andrew, come on, man. <clears throat> Andrew, unfortunately, it sounds like you might just be getting old. I know, uh, all those back problems. Let's see, today what I'm gonna be working on, I'm gonna be making a ton of phone calls. Hey, Coronacation, this is a great opportunity to pick up the phone, maybe even do some FaceTime with some people. It's a great way to connect. And so I'm gonna be making a whole bunch of phone calls. That's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm also going to be editing some videos and getting ready for Sunday. Got a couple of special guests coming on Sunday and some, uh, uh, it's gonna be a little bit different. I, I wanna dive in a little bit deeper into this month's memory verse and did, did we tell you yet? You can send in you doing the memory verse and we would love to include it in Coronacation. And speaking of which, before I go too far into things, we have some special guests that I wanna introduce you to, some friends of mine who I haven't seen in a while because of this craziness of COVID-19. So let's see, um, Joy Shaw and, and DJ and Lily Grace, I'm going to turn it over to you to teach us this month's memory verse. And remember, you can send in your videos too. I hope to see them soon. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble and value others more than yourself. Philippians 2, 3. Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb and this right here is actually a whole collection of books. God inspired dozens of writers over hundreds of years to write down true stories and words of wisdom. And together, they reveal God's one big story of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a plan to rescue us even when we turned away from him. In fact, God gave up everything to come and live among us as a human being. That's an amazing demonstration of humility. And I've got four stories from the life of Jesus to show you what it can look like. We get started in the book of Matthew. Right here, Jesus knows the religious leaders have made plans to arrest and kill him. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus lays out his heart before God in prayer, pleading for an easier way. But even as he begs, he says, let what you want be done, not what I want. Jesus' closest friends, let's just say they put nap time first. We move over to the book of John now. Jesus has been arrested and lied about by fake witnesses. Then he's sentenced to die. Jesus, who has never done a single wrong thing, is nailed to a rough wooden cross. I mean, 
He's got all the power in the world. He could come right down off that cross, but he gives his life for us. And for three dark days, it seems he's gone until God pulls off the biggest upset in the history of the universe. Now we take a quick jump to the book of Philippians. Right here, the Apostle Paul explains what Jesus did for us. None of you should look out just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. You should think and act as Jesus did. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. You see, Jesus gave up everything for us. And now, God's Spirit gives us the power to put others first. We wrap up in the book of Luke. It's Easter Sunday. The world has been changed forever. But so far, only a few people get it. As two of Jesus' followers hike from Jerusalem to Emmaus, they hash out the crazy story they've heard that Jesus is alive again. Then, a stranger comes up and joins them. The man uses scripture to explain why this crazy story has to be true. The friends decide to invite him to dinner, which is when they suddenly realize just who they've been hanging out with. Jesus showed us the ultimate way to put others first. And because he's alive, we have the power to give up what we think we deserve to put others first too. That's true humility. And I can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me. Corona Cation and Andrew, today I want to play a game with you called Real or Fake. This is Animal Edition, and so I have some pictures of some animals, and you need to decide if you think that animal is real or fake. It's a pretty simple game, but I'm going to try and stump you with some amazing Photoshop skills. Andrew, I know that you have a lot of expertise in design and Photoshop, but I still think that you're going to be fooled because God's pretty creative and he made some awesome animals. So good luck. Remember to vote real or fake. You'll have 10 seconds. Here we go. Real or fake. Real or fake. Here we go. That's, that's real. Real. Four seconds. It's like the color of the ocean. It blends right in. It's real. Yeah. Camo. That's pretty fish. Um. This is real. This is real. Wow. Huh? How about that? Whoa! What in the world is that? It's like a porcupine roadrunner is what it looks like. Uh, fake. Oh gosh. Corey, you knew this. You knew this was gonna get me. What is that, a long neck turtle? Um I think it's fake. That looks like part snapping turtle. Yeah, that that's crazy. Is that just a dog on the beach or is that like a dog walrus? I'm gonna go with just a dog on the beach. Okay. I didn't know if it was just like weirdly shaped. It was kind of leaning towards fate. Ooh, the snake. I think that's real. I think that's real. Uh, yep. It's, it's a pretty snake. Let's see. Uh huh. This one. That looks so crazy that I think it's real. I think it's real, 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 real. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's, n that's odd. Uh, 
Oh, little snake. Oh, man, that is an ugly creature. That is photoshopped. Now, whether the thing is real or not, I'm gonna go, no. Yeah, that was photoshopped, I can tell. Ooh. Mmm, real. That's biting somebody. Let's go real. Yes. I hadn't kept up with my score though. Oh man, I got um, I got several right. So I want to know how you did, and you know what? I want to challenge you to do something after this video. I want to challenge you to clean something today, whether that's like cleaning your room, or maybe cleaning up some toys that you've left in the floor or maybe even cleaning up something for your mom and dad. How cool would that be? So clean something today and we will see you tomorrow. Love you guys.